born December 1st, 1921, Yakima, Washington. Yes, I've had a wonderful life and I've had a wonderful relationship with everyone in my family. My greatest legacy is my family. We laughed a lot in our family. We had great Christmases. Everybody came home for Christmas no matter where they were at. Christmases with my grandmother cooking and my grandfather laughing and dancing, they were just fantastic. Being with her and her laugh, it just lights up the whole, the whole room. I have no regrets. I like to bowl, I like to play golf, and I did all those, and dancing. Just loves life, loves her family, loves her friends. Yeah, she's just an incredible lady. One big turning point was when I bought my factory. And then my husband bought his barber schools. Everything's a gamble that you do in life. And if it works, fine. If it don't, I was just fortunate everything worked. She loves to do taxes, she loves to start businesses, she, she loves to understand and comprehend the laws and get all the loopholes, and it's something that she just thrives on. That was our fun business, the horse race business. I won 69 exactas that year. She's touched, she has a gift, and uh, again, just uh, you know, one of the many things about her that makes her so, so, so unique. The main thing when I think about my grandmother is just, is just how strong mentally she is. She reads like 20 books a month or something ridiculous like that. I mean, she'll read a book a night. The reason I was successful? Well, for one thing, I knew I was going to be successful. Before positive thinking was, was vogue, you know, um, she was doing it. There was a lot of rough times, but I never seemed to think of them as rough times. It seems like there, I always had the feeling that no matter how rough times were, there was always a solution. If you found the solution, then whether it was bad or good, it always worked out one way or another. And I think attitude is the most important thing, and self-confidence. My values has always been just to be honest with yourself, and good to people. And like my dad said, don't do to others what you would not have done to yourself. She's one of a kind, one of a kind. If I was to sum up my life, I would say I would do it all over again the same way I did. So fortunate to have her in my life. My name is Violet M. Polk, and this is my life.